Hi there YouTube, in this tutorial we're gonna do this animation but this time it's gonna be CSS only. CSS is very efficient when it comes to animations, you do not have to load any external libraries, even faster or better performing than GSAP or even Waflow interactions. However, it does require some setup, so bear with me through it. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. So without further ado, let's jump to it. All right, so let's see what we have here. So we have this heading and we have this subheading and we want to animate them perhaps to come in from the bottom to slide in and fade in from the bottom. So let's see how that is done now. In CSS, we create keyframes. Keyframes are similar to, let's say, GSAP's timeline somehow or the timelines that you do on interactions, but we set them up manually uh, with a code embed. So let's add a code embed, embed, and let's set this up. So we have the style, so because this is gonna be CSS, so style, and then we're gonna set our keyframes here. So we start with keyframes and then we name it. So we give it a name, so slide up, fade in. This is our keyframe. And uh, now we're gonna set up the options. So it's gonna be from, again, similar to GSAP. And we're gonna, again, open and close bracket. And here we're gonna say from opacity to zero. So opacity zero to one, but we're, first we'll set the from state. So opacity zero, and then we want to move it. So transform, and that will be translate Y, because we want to move it to the Y axis. And then we want to move it 100 pixels down. So it's down 100 pixels with a 0% opacity. And then we're gonna set the two state, and then the two state, we're gonna get it back to opacity one, and then transform, translate, Y, and this will be zero pixels. All right, so we have our uh, keyframe set up, and it's called slide up fade in. Now let's copy this name, let's save and close. And uh, of course this key, uh, code embed can be anywhere on the page. Perhaps if you have the page code element, you can add this inside. However, let's set this up for this element. Now we want to set the keyframe that we just created for this uh, div block. Now we can go to custom properties and add animation name. And this will be the animation name that we just did. And then we're gonna have to give it a duration. So animation duration, because we wanna say how long this will be. So it's 0.5 seconds, for example. And then we want to set an animation timing function and this will be the ease. And we want to say, let's say ease. It can be linear, can be ease in and out. Uh, you can view more, of course, if you go here and view on MDN and you can see a lot more uh, easing timing functions. This is video 17 as part of the 100 days of Waffle journey. So if you're enjoying this type of content, do subscribe to the channel. You're gonna love what's coming on the way. Let's get back to the project. So let's get back to the project. Now we have this set up. So if we preview this, you can see that it's already animating uh, as we as we want it. Now let's say I want to animate this part right after. So if this part is taking 0.5 seconds, I want to have a delay here of 0.5 seconds. Now first I want to apply the animation here. So I can do this instead of applying them one by one, I can just use animation and then I can apply them together here in one property. So slide and fade in and then 0.5 seconds uh, duration and then ease as the um, timing function. And then if I press enter, you see it applies right away. However, I wanna also include a delay. So we can uh, say animation delay and this will be 0.5 seconds because I want this to animate right after the title. So if I preview this, it's animating 0.5 seconds after, however, it's uh, not keeping the from state. So in order for it to keep the from state and stay hidden, I'm gonna give it animation, fill mode, and it's gonna be backwards. And this will keep the from state until the delay is over, until the animation starts, and then it animates as we see here. So this animating, and then this is after it. Now I can also add the fill mode here inside the animation, so it's say backwards. So to avoid having more properties, and this will work just fine. Now let's say I want to animate this part, a new keyframe where this um, div block grows from zero to 100%. I can go back to my code embed and I can create a new keyframe. So this one, keyframes, and this will be highlight, let's say, highlight this, because it's a text highlight. And then here, same thing, we're gonna go from and here it's gonna be simpler because it's gonna be width 0% and then to 
right? Two width 100%. So this is called highlight this. Let's save and close. And now we can go to the element here. So this is the highlight text element. And we can do the same thing, animation, and then we can give it the value, and then a 0 0.5 seconds, or a one second in this case. And then we want to also give it ease, and then we want to give it uh, backwards, because we want to delay it, let's say animation delay, of like 0 0.2 seconds, so it's not direct, so it comes in a little bit after the heading is sliding in. So this is nice. So that's basically it. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I'm going to leave this as a clonable so you can find it in the description below. Do subscribe to the channel. Do like the video and uh, come back for more because a lot more is on the way. See you in the next one.